Hey, what's going on? So I wanted to send this message that you don't have to know everything in advance in order to get started or to take the next step. So for me, I've had this tendency because I'm very, very analytical and I like to break things down. And I like to think deeply about things. Of course, you probably already know that by now. Um, but I had to learn this lesson when it came to life because life oftentimes will, will reward people that are decisive and then take action. And I had to learn this myself that in order to really move forward in my life, sometimes you're not gonna have all the information. Sometimes you have to make decisions without all the information available. And there's actually this story that I remember Tony Robbins mentioned that uh, you know General Schwarzkopf, I believe is his name. Um, so essentially the US military, and I think it was specifically the US Army was com contemplating this military decision for several years, for about five years. And Tony Robbins talks about this story about how General Schwarzkopf comes into the room and he hadn't been briefed on the situation. Um, so they're briefing him on the situation and this decision. And basically he said within 10 minutes, all right, let's do it. Let's move forward with it. And one of the lieutenants or one of the officers went up to him after and he said basically with all due respect sir you know i i, I would like to know how was it that you were able to come to such a quick decision we've been researching this thing for years right we've been researching this situation for years how was it that you were able to come up with the answer to just move forward with it within 10 minutes and general schwarzkopf he basically gave an answer to the effect of Sometimes you just have to make a decision. And sometimes you'll be wrong. Sometimes you won't. But you have to decide at some point. And I want to send that message to you because I know that sometimes we might feel stuck in a certain area, whether that's, you know, we've been deciding whether we want to start a business, whether, you know, something about going out, right? I know a lot of guys are trying to improve their social skills or their dating lives and they've been contemplating oh should i start going to more social events or should i start talking to more people or specifically talking to more people that i would be romantically interested in right uh, if you're a guy then going out and talking to girls um and of course you know so putting yourself out there is another way to put it have you been contemplating that Sometimes, and the thing is, it's tempting to want to research what is the best way for me to do this. This is a very common question I get. But I also realize that oftentimes it's a question of procrastination. It's a question of procrastination to ask that type of question of, you know, what is the best way to do this? Honestly, sometimes it's not even about finding the best way to do it. It's about just doing it, right? Getting started with it. So instead of thinking about what is the best way, the most optimal way that I can go out and I can talk to people or learn how to talk to people, instead of thinking about what's the most optimal way, just think about how can I get it done, right? How can I go out and just get it done? If you focus more on the execution than the theories and the armchair philosophies of all this stuff, then oftentimes that's where the rubber meets the road and you'll make a lot more progress, a lot more effectively and efficiently that way because sometimes we get so stuck in the theory and we build this perfect business plan in our heads and we predict every single obstacle that's gonna come up. And as soon as that first obstacle comes up, that plan goes completely out the window, right? That plan goes completely out the window. You have to start from scratch again um, and replan everything again and again and again every time you face an obstacle because what happens is it's so dynamic. The world naturally is so dynamic everything changes, everything shifts. So if you're trying to always plan in advance everything before you take action, you're never gonna really sustain momentum that way. Right? You're never really going to be able to sustain momentum because every time you get started, you're inevitably going to run into some sort of obstacle or challenge that comes up. And when that challenge comes up, 
like I said, it's usually unexpected and it usually changes the direction and course of what your initial plan was. And when you do that, you have to, like I said, if you're coming from the philosophy of having to know everything in advance, you have to start all over again and again and again and replan everything. But if instead you focus on just one step at a time, one step at a time, you're not trying to plan everything in advance. You're taking imperfect action. You're making decisions without all the information. I'm not saying being reckless, right? I'm not saying like being totally reckless and crazy, but it's about trusting your gut and also just being able to move forward without needing all the information, without needing to be 100% certain on something. And this will help you in every area, whether it's in dating and social life, because for me, that's that's the key is, how how can you become un, how can you become comfortable this is a cliche how can you become comfortable in uncomfortable situations right how can you get to the point where you're acclimated to uncertainty because that's why we come up with such complicated theories sometimes is we have uncertainty and we we procrastinate by overthinking and overanalyzing we procrastinate by overthinking and overanalyzing, coming up with all these theories, sitting on our, in our armchairs, becoming like the keyboard warriors, as, as you could say, and uh, just overthinking the situation instead of just jumping in, doing something, look, finding the next step from there and doing that thing and finding the next step and doing that thing. You know, I know that we've talked about this before about scheming, right? Instead of being a schemer, having to plan everything in advance, just jump in and do it. Just jump in and do it and then do the next thing and do the next thing until you are you have full momentum going forward and that's it, right? So I'll leave it at that for now and I'll talk to you later. Take care.